Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2006 BMW 750i. Black on the outside with black leather interior. With factory navigation, leather, power moonroof, and a bunch of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. As a clean title and a clean Carfax, you can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. It also has four brand new rims and tires that we just put on them. Great shape, really, really nice. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch ups of any kind. Really clean on the inside, it's only got 78,000 miles. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We're open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The car has a rear lip spoiler, also parking sensors. Again, four brand new wheels and tires that are in really, really nice shape. Well, they're new, you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's a really, really good look not your standard base wheels. And we got also front parking sensors as well. Let's go ahead and get inside and get it started. The door panels are all charcoal with a wood trimming. All the windows are um, uh, one touch automatic up and down. Memory seats for up to two drivers and a bunch of controls there for the uh, driver's seat. Power tilt and electronic uh, cruise control here. Has to, the car has to be on for that but I'll show you that in just a minute. <coughs> okay, let's go on and uh, let's get it started. Push the key in there, step on the brake, hit the push button start. Taylor Swift to look. All right, the key popped out there. All right, my bad, I didn't realize the key had popped out. Sorry about the silence for a moment there. Uh, first of all, let's get the, uh, yeah, the key's not in, the push button starts not gonna work. I didn't realize that popped out. All right, let's go ahead and put on the AC. And uh, there's our navigation screen right there. And uh, let's go ahead and make GC just a little cooler because it's crazy hot outside. All right, uh, we got dual climate control. As you can see, the uh, driver's side there, I have it at 60 degrees, while the passenger side, I'm gonna put it down to 67. And what that does is it makes the AC blow on this side of the car, 67 degrees, on this side of the car at 60 degrees. Uh, okay, the car has, let's see if we can get to the mileage. Okay, let me show you the power tilt first. Tilt down here, tilt up. And then let's come around this side so you can see a telescopic part of it. And here. Okay. And, uh, and then everything gets controlled through this little wheel here. So if I slide here, I'm sliding forward, slide back. And if I press the backrest and I want to bring the backrest up, then I um, twist this forward and the backrest comes up. Or twist the back and the backrest goes back down. You, you can't see the action, but you can see me moving. Um, let's go ahead and put on the stereo. We actually had the stereo on. Maybe we can find a station that's playing actual music. Alright, you can raise and lower the volume right here. Alright. And then you have also voice command. It does have Bluetooth also. And you can navigate it by your preset stations and so on. Everything is controlled through this little wheel here. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to press the menu button. And you're going to see all the choices you have there. Uh, communication, BMW assist, climate control, all, all, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and now, uh, AC, I don't want it too high so you can hear me talk. But now navigation, I'm going to get the wheel now and I'm going to push it uh, this way so that we can get to navigation. You'll see the action there on the screen, how the navigation uh, comes up. Okay, um, 
Got a bunch of pockets in here, stuff that pops out for trays. Down here also. Uh, cup holders here in the center. Cigarette lighter. Doesn't even have a cigarette lighter. I don't think the person who had this car smoked because it doesn't smell of, uh, of smoking or nothing like that. Um, this is to pop out your glove box here. Okay. Um, you see changes right in here. You press there for it to pop out. Got wood trimming all around. And um, get your uh, cruise control down here, kind of hidden away. Power trunk is over here on this side here. Your uh, electronic parking brake. Automatic, you can put, set this into uh, automatic uh, so the headlights will come on and off at uh, sunrise and sunset. Um, your uh, windshield wiper is here. You also got automatic, which is our uh, rain sensing. Uh, and then your shifter, it's over here, it's an electronic shifter. Um, right now we're in park, so to um, change out of gear, we're going to press the brake and then you tap, pull it toward you and tap down, and now we're in drive. And uh, for reverse, do the same thing, pull it toward you, push it up. And now we're in park. And uh, now when we put this on reverse, sorry, did I say park? I meant reverse. I apologize. And as you can see, we got parking sensors in the rear and the front. I'm gonna go ahead and back up so you, so you can show you how they look. They're pretty cool. Now right, you see how the other green area there comes on. Eventually it turns into yellow, and then eventually into red. And it shows you where you're closer. As you can see, we're closer in the left rear. Okay? And now let's check it out and let's do the same thing for, but for up front. Put it in drive. And let's pull up to that black car up there. And you see how it gets green? See? And it has a. Uh, tells you it has also a sound that's very very prominent that lets you know that you're about to hit it you know so let's um and then you can see how it eventually goes away there <clears throat> all right so to put it in park now we press on this on the side button here and now we're in park okay uh, uh, by the way this is uh, once you um pair your phone push this in here and you can dial right from here so you don't actually have to reach into your pocket for the um, for the phone. Uh, here is this. You see that there? That that is to disable the parking sensors. And the reason you want to disable them is, let's say if you're towing a boat or a trailer, that thing will just be beeping the whole time. And um, and that's uh, that's what you want to do. Eventually, when you put it back in drive, it will enable itself. Okay, we got a storage here in the center, which, by the way, storage is lockable. Okay, uh, press here for the left side here for the right side and as you can see we have the owner's manual here with all supplemental booklets and everything that you need got storage for uh, CDs and you can unlock or, or uh, unlock the uh, power trunk it does have a power trunk okay the memory seats are here on the side you can program up to uh, for uh, two drivers um, up underneath the uh, the rear view mirror we got three buttons that's what we call the uh, universal garage door or um, home link where you can program with the three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a complex that has gates uh, we have a glass moon roof up here uh, it is tinted but also has this hard cover that you can slide and blocks out the sun completely let's go ahead and get it open now by the way this, this can be closed like that and you press here and it will open up okay and we'll leave it open for the video we got a uh, curtain side airbags up in the front post here, the rear post as well, and uh, seat side airbags as well. Let's pan over the passenger seating area here now, so you can see it's a really nice shape. No cuts, no burn holes, no tears. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And I don't feel any odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. Let's pan around the dashboard now, so you can see it's in great shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200. Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. All right. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George at 305-218-5462. Before I said seat side airbags, that really meant uh, airbags and the door panels. Uh, that was kind of a Freudian slip there. Okay. We got map lights up here. 
and you get all your sunroof controls and everything over here. Um, I think we're ready to move on to the back, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to slide the seat here just a little bit front because I got it all the way back. And so I can show you back there. Now to turn off the vehicle, you just press here. Okay, and then push here, and the key will slide on and release. As you can see also, the uh, uh, if you notice, the tilt wheel lifts up a little bit just to give me a little more um, room to get out. All right, um, this is a five passenger vehicle. Two in the front and three in the back. Clearly, if you're going to have a middle row passenger, you have to lift this up here. But I have it like that so I can show you that you have storage here also. Got anchors for your baby car seat. And you got, uh, got uh, map lights up there. And I believe this is uh, like a mirror here, vanity mirror for the rear row passengers. You got the same thing up in the front of the sun visors, by the way. You got AC vents here on the sides. All the pockets are nice and tight, you know. Uh, you got these um, BMW uh, floor mats here that are collect the dirt, you know, the, the, the heavy duty rugged type. The door panels in the rear are the same as in the front. Um, you got the charcoal gray with the wood trimming, the silver accent. You got also uh, shades here on the side. These are electronic, they put, slide up and down and they're also close over here. Um, the vehicle is also equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. You put the little switch down there and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you got little kids and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside, once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers, just do the opposite. Lift it up and this handle will start working again. Not only do we have AC vents on the side, but also in the middle, and you can control the uh, the temperature there. As you can see, hot and cold, the little wheel there, and then you got two cigarette lighter adapters over there. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. By the way, uh, all the tail lights and headlights are in great shape. They're not cracked or damaged. Uh, power trunk, you can do it from right here, and you got a huge trunk back here, lots of space. To close it, you can close it right from here. And these are the parking sensors I was telling you about before. There's two on each side of the bumper. And we got one in the front bumper as well. And you got the nice uh, lip spoiler also. You got four brand new wheels and tires. And uh, over here, same thing. Uh, rear rear door panel, perfect shape, no damaged, no burn holes, no cracks. Give you another look at the interior from this angle here. Keep in mind that you're looking at 2006 model car. So you're going to have some wear, but uh, really uh, for the condition of this car, not very much at all. Curtain side airbags here in the rear also for the rear row passengers. And let's go ahead and move on to the front. Our front door panel. I'm sure by now you notice that there's no speaker covers cracked, no damage whatsoever. Um, and then the, uh, the power seat for the passenger side is full, just like on the driver's side. You know, uh, power seat, power recliner, and all this stuff. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and talk about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you uh, live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, or you just want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, run right the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.